Hello, I'm Andrew Lissiman, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 as Democratic Denmark. Uh, so we've been waiting for the Second World War to kick off, and finally, France and Germany are at war. Although, it's yet to see if this will be the Second World War. It probably will be, but so far it is just, you know, I would hate, I, you know, I was hesitant to say a minor border skirmish, considering it's Germany and France. Uh, normally that's reserved to World Cup finals, but, um... So far, it is just those two countries. Admittedly, Slovakia is involved, but they're a puppet of Germany, so I don't really count them. Uh, but as soon as I unpause, I do expect things to kick off rather fast. Now, of course, we can't join a faction until we get to 80% more tension. However, I'm not going to join the Allies straight away. Uh, partly because the Allies are very much a defensive faction. If you join the Allies, you can't do very much defensively, uh, offensively. And maybe want to do that. That's part of the reason we didn't go down some of the routes we could have gone down with our Doctrine Tree. I didn't go down Mass Assault because it wouldn't be very good for us to attack with. It's very much rely on using our manpower to mass produce troops, which are low quality. Now, we don't have a lot of manpower, so attacking with that wouldn't really work for us. So I did go down the uh, fascist tree because, frankly, it gives a bit more of an opportunity to switch up if we need to. And there are two other factions. Italy's faction, which is like Romano, Novus, Imperi. I got that all messed up, but sure. Uh, and there's also Poland's faction. Medir, Mores, etc. Um, Lithuania, Estonia, Latvia. So basically, no one of import. And you've got Bulgaria. Hmm. Okay. So, right now we're just going to hedge our bets, see what happens. If they start to, like, you know, claim and whatever on us, we'll quickly join a faction. Probably the Allies, the defensive measure. Uh, but otherwise, we're going to hedge our bets at the moment and just build up our forces. And I know people are going to be like, oh, I was hoping to see action. Democratic playthrough. Um, Got to wait your time, especially as a small nation. You know, you want to jump the gun. Add you to there for training. Uh, right. Let's get going. So we're going to go down to four times speed now. Okay, there we go. People are joining Comaturn. Japan isn't, isn't in a faction yet. Try and improve relations with Germany because they probably want to get in with the Axis. That said, Germany has been like helping out China, I believe. Let's improve relations with China and Japan. Okay, so they're probably going to get on the side together. Uh, you are supporting Italy and China. And you've got expeditionary forces in... Oh, from Slovakia and... Yeah, okay. And you sent volunteers to China. Okay, so China's getting volunteers, so it's interesting that Japan wants to side with them. Okay. How are we doing? Okay, recruits going well. Uh, we're not at war, so we can't really change up any of our, like, laws and stuff, which is a shame. We need to be at war for that. Italy declared war on the United Kingdom. Interesting. Greece joined the Allies. Interesting. Oh, that is a very quick war. That is very quick. They've taken a lot of ground. Um, okay, so that puts these guys basically not in the same faction, but they're basically fighting on exactly the same side. Uh, ooh, 50% discount. Don't mind if I do. Mass mobilization. We get organization for infantry, which is quite nice. Um, I mean, I could buy some modified government. I just don't know what it would be. Theorist? Military? We get experience, we also get land doctrine research time. Or naval. No, we don't want naval. We can't really pick up naval. We'd be massively from behind. So yeah, land doctrine research time decrease is nice, but the arm experience is also going to be very valuable for when we make our tank division. Because we're going to need a load of experience to be able to make that. How's the push going? Yeah, the Maginot line's holding for now. Yeah, 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 low manpower, blah, blah, blah. This is really interesting, because we've got basically two separate wars going on, but that mimic like a normal war. Now let's go to five times speed. Now we can join a faction now, if we want it. I'm going to hold for the moment, because if we do join the Allies, that is basically defensive war. We're not going to get much of the score. Let's see what happens. I'm not putting my planes up. Nope. 34, like, really great warrior fighters. No, they're not really much use to us. Uh, even if we did go to war. Doctrine effort. 
We get another land doctrine bonus. That'd be quite nice. And then we get armor. Yes. Get some nice advanced armor tech. Medium tank one. Now, medium tank two is ahead of time, but I'm going to wait until we get the next uh, doctrine, which is the armor tech, and then we can grab medium tank two. I do like the image of that. That's pretty cool. Uh, looks much more like a modern tank. All right, artillery. No, you're ahead of time. Uh, we're going down this route anyway. Support battalion. Could do field hospital. Yeah. Let's do field hospital. That'd benefit us. Any manpower we can save? Sure. Spot weapon three. Let's get infantry equipment two. Uh, that gives us cavalry, motorized, mechanized, and leg infantry. Ooh, leg infantry? Interesting. Never heard them described as leg infantry. I mean, I understand. They're infantry that walk via legs, as opposed to walking via jeeps. Okay, that was kind of superfluous, but whatever. Luxembourg, yeah, they're going to go through Luxembourg because they decide the Maginot line's a little bit tough. And Luxembourg capitulated. Now, this is still Maginot lines. It doesn't really get you very far, but sure. I guess it gets you Luxembourg. Reasonably trained. Ooh, hello, Germany. I see you there. Right, uh, construction ahead of time. We're going to go for the resource gain. It'll save us a couple of our factories, and that is super important because you don't have many factories, and currently they're kind of being used to take their power overseas in exchange for stuff like steel. Not a fan of that. Now, unfortunately, I was hoping that this wouldn't happen, but Italy is fighting France because it's fighting the Allies, and uh, that's not great because I was hoping that France and Germany could really tough it out without getting Italy involved. Okay, let's get the next one. Uh, mechanized Defensive. Doesn't really do anything for infantry other than the Blitz Tactic. Well, the Blitz Tactic is a pretty good tactic. If you don't know, by the way, when infantry fight each round in inverted commas, they use a different tactic, and certain tactics counter other tactics. Some of them have advantages and disadvantages. Uh, right. I think we need a logistics company, because that will aid when we get uh, our marines. We can upgrade our marines with that. And then we'll want to get uh, maintenance for our tanks. So we're going to go get the armored uh, doctrine right now. Ooh. British have taken this. Nice. Yes, the Mediterranean fleet is showing. Oh, actually, that said, because Nash of Spain hasn't joined in a fight, it's helping, but it hasn't joined in a fight, uh, the British fleet can go in and out of there. As it Ooh, Switzerland joined the Allies. Germany declared one Switzerland? Oh! <gasps> Nearly all the... Every time I've played so far, the AI has never declared war on Switzerland. Switzerland's just got involved at the end when it's been 100% world tension for a long time. Like, I've never seen anyone actually declare on Switzerland. This is a cunning way of getting around the Maginot line. Normally it's this way, but sure. I'm interested to see. This is this is really alternate history now. I am very interested to see how this plays out. I mean, obviously they should win against Switzerland, but... German interest in Scandinavia? Oh god, wait, that's me. Oh, dear God. I've got nine and three. Um, there we go. The enemies join the Allies. Declare one the net. Wow, they are pushing every front, which will probably include me fairly soon. Um, I'm wondering, can I join you, Italy? No. Um... Strategic reason to be hostile and different ideology. What about Poland? No. I will try and get on Poland's side, but I think it's too late now. I think I'm going to end up joining the Allies. I'm pretty sure the Allies would have me. Yeah. So as soon as war is declared, I'll join the Allies. Let's get the non-marine units and add them to that. Belgium joining the... They declare one Belgium? They are really going all out. 
Finland rejects Soviet demands. This will not end well. Ah, Netherlands have lost their supply. Okay, we're going to have to get our supply from Britain. So you declare war on Finland. Okay, it's starting to kick off now. That's Comatern's first war. What will Finland do? No faction at the moment. I assume I can't create a faction and have like a Nordic faction going. Move on. You're training up. If I add one, two, three, four, uh, I'm trying to figure this out, and then two. They'll produce another 4, which will take that up to 16. And then you'll produce 2, which will take it up to 24. Yes. And that will produce them in parallel. Although I could just say 1, 2, 3, 4. Don't really have the equipment for that, but sure. Yeah, that takes us to 24. Actually, I have made a small screw up here. How many ports do I have? I need people in my ports to defend them. One, two, three, four. You know, let's grab the ones that have got completely different names and annoy me. Okay. So I need... Fallback line. There. 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 Especially since that is my capital. I don't want to lose that. That would be disappointing. Bulgaria capitulated. To Greece? What? What? This is... Okay, this is uh, interesting. Somewhat unprecedented as well. Um, it looks like Greece might win. Yugoslav joined the Allies. Yeah, you're screwed, guys. If Yugoslav's on the side and you declare war on way too many people at the same time. Yeah, the Axis is going down. Uh, what did I just get out here? Recon company, must be. Uh, let's grab maintenance. Actually, screw it. Wait, not that one. Whoops. Sorry. I want tanks. I want the next level tank I get 50% discount on. Wait, have I not finished that doctrine yet? Ah, nearly finished it. Not quite. Okay. Okay, cool. They're defending that. Netherlands capitulated. I'm effort. Eastern Poland ceded to the Soviet Union. Ooh. Through unknown political machinations, the leadership of Poland has ceded their entire eastern region to the Soviet Union. Poland must have been left with no other choice. Interesting, considering they're in their own, like, in their own faction. Normally they do that as a defensive measure, and then they, you know, play it a little bit hard to get, but... Huh. Okay. Uh, right. Which way do we want to go now? I guess it's... Sea. Air. Ooh. We get extra dockyards there. And we get research bonuses here. I'll get the dockyards nice and quick, because then we can start building some... Nah, I don't have the research on the ships yet. It'd be pointless. And also the manpower is an issue. It'll be solved when we get to war, but until we get to war, we're kind of screwed. Improved infantry equipment. Now we get armor tech. Got old medium tank. White piece? Wait, what? Soviet Union. 
white peace with Finland. You've only been at war for a few months. Why would they do that? Mechanized defensive. Okay, Belgium capitulated. I have no I literally have no idea what's going on this timeline. Um, Kampfgroup. We get recovery rate, we get organization, we get overwhelming fire tactic, and we get planning speed plus 20%. That is very nice. Thank you very much. Trotsky was assassinated. It's, it's, you know, it's dangerous. Can't deny it. Being Leon Trotsky, obviously. Also being an enemy of the Soviet Union. Or, you know, having a revolution with Stalin on your side and then Stalin deciding he doesn't like you anymore when you say something slightly different to what he wants to say. Switzerland capitulated. Well, you know, that was going to happen, but there's still quite a lot of Switzerland sitting there. Romania cedes Barbarossa to the Soviet Union. Poor Romania. It claims Barbarossa. Romania, I really... Normally you go communist to, like, avoid the fascists, but I guess... Because of the, you know, Greece is doing fairly well and Yugoslavia is still there, I guess you decided to stick it on your own. But why didn't you join Poland's faction? I literally have no idea. This is a very interesting map. And, like, I'm dubious about picking a side because I literally have no idea what's going on. Yeah, you're going to get Paris at that rate. They don't need defenses over here. Romania joined. Romania joined the Axis. What? Okay. I mean, everybody in the Axis have been picking on you, Romania. Like giving bits to Hungary, giving bits to Bulgaria, and now you side with them. I guess you're just that scared of the Soviet Union. Full of Rome. Oh, United Kingdom are pushing in against Italy. Yugoslavia capitulated. Soviet Union declared war on Lithuania, which is in a faction with Poland, which is guaranteed by the United Kingdom. Oh my god. Is this going to be a war to end all wars? Oh, you haven't been, why have you not been brought in? Because Poland hasn't been attacked directly. Must be. Okay, I thought you'd get involved because they're now at war. Interesting. Well, the French are holding the line so far. And the British are holding on to Rome. I, I genuinely don't want to get involved. I want to see what this plays out as. Like, this is... Really interesting. Okay, let's grab that for extra naval dockyards. Not let me use them for the moment. Uh, ooh, more Marines to train. Get in there, get training. My plan is to enter the war and just take Berlin straight away, pretty much. Like, they've even got... Is this... This is a... Ooh, ooh, they moved them from the border. That was a volunteer from Hungary, I think? Yeah, there's a Hungarian volunteer on the border, so Germany have really pulled out all their troops. Now, let's just double-check our troops are, uh, you know, spitting, spitting quality. Okay, there's nothing else to add from there. You're pretty much as, you know, I would want you. Motorized could do some work. More motorized, for instance. Unfortunately, the combat width does get a little bit high. If I add uh, artillery, your speed drops. So we'll remove that. Um... Rocket artillery is very tempting. I think I will. I won't mess with this. I'm going to keep that for the moment. Armor division, marines, marines. All right, let's start messing with the marines. You need two artillery. You need marines until you get to the correct combat width. You need recon, support artillery, engineer company. And then it'll be logistics when we get that. No tanks, though. Shame. Yeah, 
and that's reduced their training because we added more troops. Uh, excavation. Now, let's double check our trade. We might have a... Oh, surplus of seven. Uh, if it was eight, I could stop importing. God damn it. Okay. <sighs> um, it's not 41 yet. I will want motorized artillery. The soft attack of 50 is just very useful. Okay. China capitulated? Ooh. Well, other China. Less big China. Fall of Paris. Oh. Uh, that means France is going to, like, give up any minute now because they have a very low national unity. Although, 60s, you know, not terrible for France, but... Hmm. Britain's just about holding on to Rome. Haven't really moved anywhere. Full of Warsaw. Logistics company, Kampfgruppe. I like the fact that the United Kingdom is still guaranteeing them, yet hasn't bothered to join in. Good going there, United Kingdom. I've got a logistics company, at least. Uh, right, we want... Desperate defense for the extra population, which will be lovely, considering I have none. Seriously, we need it. Uh, what else do we need? Many things, I think. Way too high ahead of time. Mechanized. Um, we could go for that. The issue is, would be able to make it. Yes, in limited quantities, I think is the answer. I do have naval invasion tech, don't I? Yeah. This one will take us to 24. Currently, we're limited to, what is it, 10? So I do want this for when we do our naval invasion of Berlin. Surprised the USA hasn't got involved yet. I guess they're still working on their doctrines to be able to do that. Yeah, France is going down now. Which is a shame. German Reich declared war on the Soviet Union. Japan joined the Axis. Okay, so the Axis is now, you know, much stronger than it was. And it's at war with the Soviet Union. Fair enough. This is how we take our advantage, I think. Germany breaks the Molotov Ribbentrop Pact. We finally get our tanks, and that means I instantly want... Oh, 50% ahead of time. It's very tempting. But it would cost way too much. It would take a year. The tank technology, don't get me wrong, is absolutely delicious. But it would take a year. I think we'll settle for now. We'll get the tank uh, destroyer version. Which will mean we can keep up with the German technology and tanks. At least in terms of penetrating the armor. Uh, now, here's the tactic I've got. Now this has happened. I don't know if we're going to join a faction or not. I'm still umming and ahhing about that one. But, these side fight, these side are fighting. While that's taking place and they're losing ground, we attack. We literally Blitzkrieg against the, the, like the founders of Blitzkrieg into Berlin. We grab Berlin like as soon as possible. And then we just hold. Uh, we should be able to do that. Germany is going to be very pressed in terms of manpower and resources. And then in the peace conference, we go... Look, we did a lot of attack. We grabbed a lot of land. You guys, you mostly lost land. So, frankly, I think we should get a big share. And we might be able to get a good chunk of land from that. Now, where this places us after the war, since we didn't really have a faction, I don't know. We could do it on behalf of the Allies, uh, or we could do it by ourselves. Oh, we can't really join Poland now. Can't really join Italy. Yeah. Hi, Turkey. We're working on you as well. For now, though, I've been at Elysium. If you enjoyed, please remember to like. If not subscribed. Oh, there's actually a pocket at Dunkirk. Well, just to the side of Dunkirk, but close enough. Um, not subscribed, consider subscribing. I know we haven't gone to war in this episode, but it's been really interesting about how it's been playing out. And quite frankly, it puts us in a really good position to fight Germany. Which, since we're Denmark, I would consider good positioning.
quite frankly, I didn't expect to get that chance. Uh, but yes, until next time, when I think that might be wartime. we just got to get, effectively, our Marines ready, Marine tech, hopefully have a few tanks, although I don't know if that's going to happen. Um, maybe some more motorized. I'm definitely feeling more motorized, because we can use them to, like, blitzkrieg forwards, and that said, we have low manpower, so... It'll be, it'll be iffy. I guess we could convert some units into motorized. We'll have to see. I need to do a four, so at least a four can try and push forwards. Although we will be relying on getting some more manpower before then. Which is going to require us to get our next doctrine. We'll see. We don't want to go too late, because by then claims will be made. We don't want to go too early, because we won't be able to push. But, it's going to be a promising episode. So, in the episode, I look forward to it. Until then, though, stay shiny.